Beyond the Fairway podcast, Dougie Fresco, back alongside my man Will Lowry. It is an early morning, Will. I'm going to kick your ass for having me up this early in the morning. Hey, you know what? We had such a overwhelming ovation last week. We're going to do it again. It's me and Will. No guests, no hold back, no holds bar. We just in this thing. Will, what's happening? What's cracking, homie? Uh, it's my birthday, dog. Oh, sugar. I, yeah, it's my birthday. That's man. how you know you selfish as f- with, or soup, sorry. <clears throat> that's how you know you selfish when you just tell everybody it's your birthday. It's my I was birthday. going I was it's, going I, I was going to try to cue yeah. you up. It's okay. My, Look, because it's my birthday, away. I can say it's my birthday first. It's is my day of Look, birth. I, I'm and, out the way. Uh, this is the day uh September 12, 19 <laughs> is the day the world changed for the better. Better. There you go. There Got you go. it. There you God. go. I, I mean, I had a whole nother situation set up, but what, what you gonna do for your birthday, man? You, you man, pops gonna I, play some G? What's happening? Man, man, uh, you know, I it just work, man. I'm still I'm still grinding, man. Like I, I can't I can't get away from the grind, man. Trying to, you know, uh make this game of golf, you know, all inclusive. So I'm just on my grind to try to make this thing work, dog. I feel like if you didn't do a lot of stuff on camera, I would consider you like Tommy from Martin. Mm, that's a good call. That's, that's, saying, that's, and, and that's pretty you, solid. If you don't know Tommy from Martin, he's a character on the show that always said and talked about work, but he was never actually there. So yeah, if there Tommy, wasn't visual proof, I'd call you Tommy Lowry. Yeah, I, I, Tommy Tommy had no job. I don't really think Tommy had a job, though. <laughs> I just don't. I just don't. But he was always fly, though. He was always fly, and he always had uh, um, Pam wrapped around his finger. So I, he, I feel like, like Tommy was a golfer. I feel like that's where he was. I feel like he was like a uh, like an outside service attendant. Nobody's ever. <laughs> well, 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 yeah, outside service. Attendant. Well, uh, well, rest in peace, Tommy Ford is is, is the guy named. But uh, uh, speaking of like outside, on um, being on the outside, that last episode, it was, I don't say bittersweet, because I got a lot of sweet, like you know, from from the the. Um, assessment of junior golf my opinion of golf junior golf from uh, a strictly objective opinion mm. of junior golf from being around the ajgas and junior hurricane tours and uh you know the all the alphabet soups of golf that you uh, like like to say <laughs> you know and you know got a lot of got a lot of uh feedback from you know i guess governing bodies in the junior golf space maybe like that was a good episode. I, they really appreciate us speaking our mind to, you know, uh, some of the issues that are going on in the golf space, and uh, that was a, uh, it was solid. Like it, well, it was, I, it was solid. Yeah. I feel like I feel like Stephen A. Smith a little bit. Like, like, damn, I'm, I'm getting a little too much heat from this. In, I, in I, this. I, I think that's. Where, I thought that's how you were going to start this piece right there. It was just talking about the heat that we received. Now, I will say this. I got a lot of phone calls about that. Look. We've had well, Steph got- Curry on this on this show, Sean Foley. We've had Super Bowl champions, MVPs on this show. And the episode that seems to have pushed a nerve, touched somebody's nerve, was an episode where we talk about junior golf. Look, let me say this. Those are our thoughts and ideas. I'm 30 and change years into doing this golf thing. All right? So right. if I say something, it's bars and valid. Like, so, number one, I don't need anybody coming at me as if I'm new or have never done this. Look, people, shut up, all right? I, I I live this every day. So if you took offense to what I said or what Will said, that's on you. Nobody's name was mentioned. No no fingers were pointed at. Stop calling my phone. That's all I'm saying. Stop calling my phone. Just, hey, what, what what was some of the, like, what was some of the feedback that you got? Like, I mean, how much, how bad, how how hot did it get? I had this one lady say, Will Lowry's going to get his. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You're, piss, was, you're pissing moms off, Will. That's how. Mom, like, right. it, and but, and, and why? What, I, with, I don't know. With no names mentioned, why? First of all, I, I appreciate the fact that people finally listen to Beyond the Fairway. Yeah, let's just be, let's, hey, it's such a bittersweet dog. I, I feel, I feel be like, honest. Start I, feel there. Like Chris, I feel like Chris Jenner a little bit. Like, I am happy that people listen, but I'm also like, 
you know, mm. I, I'm cognitive of the of the response as well. But mm. you know, I, I'm not trying to say I'm that's an, with it. That's an interesting way to to. It is. It is. It's it's it's, it's like what I call Anthony Anderson Beyonce. I get it because he had crossed over. It's the same kind of. Yes. I got you. Absolutely. No, but I I really believe like it's it's really interesting. People, um, how many calls is Stephen A. Smith? Not comparing us to Stephen A. And no way, no, not even a little bit. But the people that know Stephen A. If he says something to call and pisses them off, like does he really like give feedback? Because I can I can tell you what he's gonna say if you call him. I'm nicer than that. I'm not gonna cuss nobody out. But I will right. say this: Don't call my phone if you got my number because you felt some type of way about what was said on this show. You know who you are. Um, true, but I, I, but but think about it though. Again, it's an objective opinion of, like you said, of assessment that we have uh, noticed over the years. It's Yo, just that's that what, simple. That's and, and think about, first episode. And think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a lot of people first episode. Like, for I'm shocked that somebody heard us. One thing, but it, it's just a thing that you know, if you kind of flip the or the way you hear it, it could, you probably can learn a thing or two as well. So. Uh, you know, we're not the Brandon Shamleys and the um, we can be, we can be, we can be. It's not our job to break down and and analyze that is, but if you need us to, you know, golf channel, yeah, we got that, we got, we got that too. What's up, golf? What's up, golf today? Plus, plus, (laughs) Uh, can we get it? I think that's the thing, Will. How come golf channel hasn't asked us to host? I know people got jobs. It's Damon's job to do like golf yes, today. But he wanted Damon got sometimes. A, but he got to take a break sometimes. Yes. He needed a vacation. That's that's the whole point. Why can't we just? You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing I'm trying to beyond get a to. fair way to go. It's beyond a fair way to go. Plus plus. You know. And the thing about it is, you know. <laughs> but you know, I, I'm I'm always about you know you can't be what you don't see. You know. Yeah. And, and if we're on, you know, like a golf today or some, you know, getting major pub, I think kids from my community could be like, man, like. Like, like, man, they, they, they from my like, damn, I can have dreads I, I, and wear my hat backwards. Right, and right, talk about golf. right. But I don't, and and and, and that's the thing is, <laughs> I think we're missing opportunities. Not so much from our, you know, Doug and Will's sake, but just in general in golf, to where we can really have yes. opportunity to talk to the masses. You no, know, Will, something happened in golf that you and I didn't touch on, well, and well. I, I think we did it a disservice, mm-hmm. um, because. Tiger Wood announces that he's going to do an event October 8th through the 10th. Coming up, field will consist of 30 boys and 30 girls made up from diverse backgrounds. And there it will be selected via an application process. Sounds kind of familiar to some other kind of situation that we've seen by some basketball guy in the junior golf space. I, I'm not saying all that, Dougie. I'm not I, I, all that. Hell, I'll say it. I don't, I'm not <laughs> afraid to say it. It's literally the foundation of the underrated tour. Will, thoughts on Tiger Woods junior golf diversity? Can I call it a junior golf diversity? No, it's just a junior golf event. How about that? Junior golf. Um, Doug, that's, that's, that's a great I'm, question. I'm just uh, saying. You know, when we think about Tiger previously and in, in over the years, he has always steered away from, he evade questions when it comes to diversity and promotion of black and brown in the game of golf, right? You know, it's been 25 years since Tiger, 12-stroke victory at Augusta National. I'm going to put myself on mute so I don't interrupt. <laughs> and, and, you know, I think... He has he has done he's obviously brought money to the game. He has you know opened up a lot of avenues and doors to the game, but I, I, he hasn't done his. I, I don't think he's done a great deal of um, increasing the competitive space of golf, which I think is so what I think is so important. Now, granted, yes, his foundation you know does uh, provide instructions and grants. Which is so good, but I, I that's the introductory level. But when it comes to the the uh, black and brown, you know, uh, having the opportunity to increase that participation, I, I think I think he just hasn't done uh, um, he hasn't done what I think he should have done in that space. You know, could uh, could have done could like could have could 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 have done, and 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 what what makes it even harder to kind of comprehend, you know, Tiger's from, you know, a municipal, 
He's from the public courts, par three courts in Long Beach. His father had to take out a second mortgage to, you know, you know, to continue his 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 outstanding junior golf career. He recognized he had a prodigy. And I just kind of I just kind of wish that, you know, um, I just kind of wish that, you know, in a, in a competitive space that he could have done more. He could have done a competitive more. junior space. You're saying in a, in a, in a, in a competitive, competitive junior, junior in a competitive golf junior space. Space. Competitive junior golf space. And, yeah. and you know, and and I don't know, and I, I don't know this because we never heard Tiger Woods attach himself as far as helping diverse golfers in this type of arena. So I don't know if this is a reactionary thing. Um, you know, having uh this this awesome tournament. But more importantly, it's providing a platform. The whole goal is to provide a platform and create multiple talent pools. And and I say it all the time, you know, from Steph to Mag Champ to Jim Thorpe to 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 all those specific um uh goals to increase diversity in the game of golf in a competitive space. If if you're getting big prominent stars that are somewhat trying to replicate what is already going on, it's mm-hmm. a win. It's a win. So if you if people want to say it's copying it or not, it doesn't matter. It's a win. And I know a lot of uh, underrated kids are well have put their application. To no, are you saying underrated like oh like sorry kids when that I, are are underrated yeah, or I, underrated say, I, tour members? Yeah, underrated tour members. Let me, okay, because I'm like that. yeah no 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 a, a <laughs> lot of a lot of underrated tour members have put their application and I'm I'm ha- I'm so happy and I hope they get selected because that's another opportunity so they can showcase their skill set on the main stage. That's all I care about. And, and no that's, conflicting that's, dates, huh? Because the dates don't conflict either. So it's kind of <laughs> no, no, yeah. you try to get me beat up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I I just think that you know we're we're in, we're in a space and 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 it has to it has to happen. You know, um, according to NCAA, less than six percent of black and brown kids are playing at an NCAA golf level. You know, level in golf. Um, I, I just think I, we we're moving. That's, that's all I can okay. say. We're moving, and I know you're not the barely you're, you're a huge fan of Tiger, but you're not the biggest fan of Tiger when it comes to that diversity. So I'm really interested to hear I, your take on this. Don't be too tough, dog, because we can't take no, no, no. Right look, now. look, I, I I think Billy Horschel has done more for Black Golf than Tiger Woods from we a heard professional that standpoint. I've said we heard it before. that statement. It's nothing before. new. We can rewind it and play it back. I've said it before. Um, do I think? Am I proud? Yes, I'm happy that Tiger Woods and the Tiger Woods Foundation and TGR events has you know decided to do something for junior golf. I mean, it's dope. Their kids are going to go to Pebble Beach, a place that I've never been. You know, I'm looking forward to it one day to get to Pebble Beach and be a part of all that history and and majesty. But look, I'm going to sit back and watch, and then I'll be critical how the event goes because, like you will, I, I just want you know kids that that have the ability to play at a high level get a place to play. That's really that's what it's about, you know. And and Tiger Woods, if you want to put your name on it and you know be like Steph Curry, I love it. I appreciate it, and um, hopefully. Uh, some underrated tour members will be selected, um, and Steph and Tiger will have necessary conversations, like we talked about uh, last episode. Will where people can come together, do better, and grow golf. Like not like the live way, like actually grow the game, go into mm-hmm. communities, etc. Uh, over the weekend at the Ascension Charity Classic, APGA legend. If there is a Hall of Fame for the APGA Tour, which there probably will be. No, there is. There is an APGA Tour Hall of Fame. Tim O'Neill got a chance to play with the old men. Excuse me. With the legends of the game, as Alfonso would say. Uh, the legends of the game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all seen the commercial on GC. Um, Tim held his own this week, man. I'm proud of what... Look, this is a guy, what, 30 years ago, roughly... Triple bogey on the last hole at Q School. Will um, knocked himself out, has been grinding minis for 30 years, grinding. and now has been is eligible and competing on the Champions Tour. I think it's a beautiful story. I also think it's a story of struggle, pain, uh, adversity, uh, all those other, you know, buzz words. And, and uh, good showing this week for Tim O'Neill, yeah. uh, top of 33rd. Uh, I mean- Go ahead. But you think about like 20, 24, 25 years since that final stage at PJ West. Mm. That final that final stage, final hole at PJ West, the hundred eighth hole. That for the young kids who may not know what the hell the hundred eighth hole is, back in that back in that time, back in the old days. Back they in had the old a, days of, <laughs> of ten years ago. Of ten years ago. <laughs> they had a, they had a thing called Q School where it, they called it Hell Week. 
was hell. hell week, which was six rounds. And Tim O'Neill, what was it? He was two I don't above know the, the score. Yeah, I think he was, was, he, yeah, he two was, above, yeah, he was two, two above. Two, two, it was good. Line, got a triple on the last missed, hole. The last hole missed it by one. So, you know, him beating Jim Furyk uh, this week and him beating uh, a lot of the major champion winners, that could have that could have happened 25 years. years ago. He was he was one stroke away from that happening 25 years ago. I just, what and, I find interesting is Tim's had more sponsors exemptions in the last two years than he's had in the past 30. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but because Tim is our friend, we also can you know can expound upon that. I mean, he had he had eight starts in the PJ Tour and has not made a cut in one. That's so okay. you won't take so, that route. I, I, but I'm just saying I'm, I, I, nice I'm, I'm giving his flowers, but he's my he's my one of my close friends, but. I'm I'm giving this flowers, but but damn. So. Okay, I'll say this. I'll say this because I've I've heard this argument by um by um right wing non diversity people. <laughs> right oh, wing non diversity people. That's, that's how I'll phrase it. <laughs> but your mind went to where I wanted it to go by saying that. Now look, uh, everybody's like, you give these guys a chance on the tour and they don't make a cut. Da 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 da. Okay, Tim is fifty. He's played eight tour events. He's never played more than one. In a season, or no more than two, yeah, no more than one in a season. Mm. So over twenty years, if you sprinkle it in, he's basically played a PGA Tour event every other year. That's mm. best case. He's qualified yeah. for the U.S. Open, etc. So that being the case, he doesn't get to play that style of golf or even get himself ready. You ever notice? Guys on tour talk about how they're trending. They're playing well. I'm trending. Mm. I'm trending. Well, you're trending while you're playing in PGA Tour events, and you're trending for the PGA Tour, you know, for majors. Well, if you don't get that, then how, how are you really going to be prepared? So I, I will say this. Tim O'Neill will be one of the most uh, beloved members of the Champions Tour when he qualifies yes. and earns full-time status, which he will do because he hits it further than me, and he's 96. But but in, here's here's the more even more crucial part is, like, going back to the trending part. Basketball, you turn 50, so, you, ain't, you ain't doing nothing. Football, 50, you ain't doing nothing. Baseball, you ain't doing, you ain't doing nothing. But golf... I mean, it's, it's it's a fresh look. He he has he has a he has a new approach to the same drink. Mm, that's that. Wow, that's actually think more about powerful that. than I think you meant to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be honest, that was way more powerful than you. But meant he to has make. he has a new approach to the same drink. How many? What sport that you can that can provide you that that attribute to or that 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 feeling that feel good? But I tell you this though, I know I, sport. I, I tell you this. Speaking of feel good. I don't know how much it feel good to the public when it comes to Brad Animanis when an APGA event, because I want to touch on the subject. I'm getting tired of it, Doug. You know, when it comes to the a the APGA tour, something I am getting tired of hearing when somebody who was white winning an APGA tour event, which the tour is solely for helping, you know, black and brown mm -hmm. golfers exceed in the golf space, competitive golf space. Do you get tired, Doug, of hearing like, man, you know, what does the white guy win an ABJ tour event? Why is he playing in it? I, I, I'm actually getting tired of hearing this, Doug. I'm, I'm getting upset. I'm trying to get these phone calls. So on top of the phone calls I was getting because I, people like or dislike what I said last episode, I was also getting, hey man, another white guy won APJ tour event. Man, how you feel, Will? Like, I'm, I'm glad he won. I'm, I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad he won. I'm glad yeah, he won. I you know, it's 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 a it's an interesting topic. You know, I was on the the broadcast team for the uh, Farmers Insurance Invitational where Patrick Newcomb uh, won, and I was hyped. Pat from Kentucky, that's my man. Like, I was super excited. He got a lot of ridicule from that, Doug. Oh, he, he got crushed. He got crushed in the media. Crushed. I mean, when I say and media, it, it's small scale media for us. But yes, he yeah, crushed. he got he got crushed on the on the um, county newspapers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it. I was I was proud, and I think I think there's a lot there's there's multiple ways you can look at look at this, and I, I understand you know people that don't know saying like it's a black tour and the white dude wins the blah, blah. I get that it makes sense, but it's not a black tour, it's not a white tour, it's a golf tour, it's a tour designed to promote greater diversity in the game, period. That's what it's you can't be diverse and be exclusionary. <laughs> Get all these white people out of here. Like, yeah, you, you what? You can't do it. Yeah. What? What are you talking about? So, Brad Adamone has played the PGA Tour. 
bounced off, played Corn Ferry, etc. We can get into it, but he's got a list. I actually think he won on the PGA Tour. I think he won the John yeah. Deere. When you are a white dude and you do play on an APGA Tour, um, that's also a an admission of I'm with you guys yeah. in this struggle. I support what this stands for. And look, let me tell you something about Brad, because I used to live down uh, in Florida and practice with Brad down in South Florida, Fort Lauderdale. Brad is like one of the coolest like dudes. And he's he mentored me, you know, yeah. on days where, you know, I was off work or I could go play. Brad Adamona showed me shots. He showed me how to hit a freaking 80 yard shot with a 60 that hit and would chase up a hill on the green from 80 yards. And I was like. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know that was a shot you could have, Brad. Like right. I, I, I didn't even know this was this was the thing that you could do with a ball. Right. Um, and so I'm excited to see Brad win. I'm excited for him to uh, get into the Worldwide Technologies, um, formerly the Mayakoba on the PGA Tour, or it's at Mayakoba, but you know, anyway, I don't, I can't keep up with the names changes. You know, yeah, his it's name changes. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's Worldwide Technologies that, in Mexico. How about that? I hope the young kids have an opportunity to pick his brain. Absolutely. Because no I'm not, I'm not sure if the the the, the middle age guys on tour are picking picking Brad's brain like they should. Yeah. You know, a lot of these guys are getting a little bit of money now, get a little bread, you know, and maybe their cup is a little too full. Mm. I don't know, mm. but if, if as long as Brad is playing that tour, I mean, he could be like Yadonis Haslam, like just pick just pick his brain because the guy knows a lot about the game of golf. I used to always call Brad. And he always he's never he never hesitated to give me any information, but I just I just want to know like, but that's the thing though, Doug. You want to know like, that's the thing. No, no, but but no, I'm, I'm switching. I'm switching. Um, I'm switching. You know, uh, thoughts here. All right, go ahead. When 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 you think about, you said admission, and there's times to where we can learn from different demographics. On the other side of the other side of the sport, the other side of the tracks, when it comes to the same game that we all love, the commonality that we have in golf. Very true. And I remember I had this conversation. Um, white guy played APJ tour event uh, about four or five years ago. I'm not gonna give his name, but he he had a candid conversation with me. He said, "Man, there's some things that he said. Everybody was APJ tour player, and this guy currently, uh, he well, he had a, a Crown Ferry tour status, and I think played a few PJ tour events. PJ Latin as well. Won a couple times with PJ Latin, and he said that um." He said, there's some things, like, everybody here on the APJ Tour is good enough to play on PJ Tour. He, they have the skill set. But it's some things that, you know, you guys just don't know. And I was curious. I was like, man, what do you, what do you mean? So he just started going to the, 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 the small details of what we don't know. And I really appreciated that, you mm -hmm. know? And, and I, it, it makes me even wonder, like, Patrick Newcomb. Winner of uh, the farmers, the farmers event uh, in in uh, San Diego. He says some stuff that I had never heard of before because he's been out there. He he's seen the top, of the the best of the best. And I I, I like what I think, though? Hold on, like what? Hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 like you know, like for example, uh, you know, it's it's very simple. But um, the guy I was previously was talked to, he said, I he was playing with one uh, golfer on the APJ tour. Came out hot. First nine, four, five under. The first uh, three holes in the backside, two under. But those last six holes when, when it went, went, da you, went, da went downhill. But he said, I said, man, he was nervous, wasn't he? He said, no, 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 no. It wasn't nerves. He wasn't eating. I mean, the simple things, eating every three holes, making sure you're hydrated. What's your pre-shot routine? What's your uh, uh, pre-round routine? And I notice that even sometimes when I look at some of the kids on the underrated golf tour. Like, there's certain things that they it just doesn't know, just don't know. But it's because they they don't know because they don't know. Like, and that's the thing. It's like it's not that they don't know to do it. It's that they've never had somebody you know mentor them to to put them in a position to know better. And that's one okay. of the reasons why you know I really do appreciate Brad Adam Onus. Overseas, uh, look, this has been a meme. This has been discussed. I'm not gonna make the joke because we all know that there's some other faction that plays 54 golf hole events and that's what the bmw championship was in england this week okay but a couple things that stood out to me number one john rom final round 62 that's 10 under par 
that was that was one of the best things. Like Scott Van Pelt says, that was one of the best things I saw all week. John Rom shot 29 on the back nine and just absolutely, with a bogey. Like, could have just absolutely blistered the golf course. Shane Lowry gets the W. And sadly. Sadly what? Rest in peace so to sad. the queen, of course. Rest in peace to the queen. Hell. R.I.P. Uh, I know she saved Snoop from jail, so I, I, she I appreciate did say, the queen. She no, did save Snoop from jail. Yeah. She did. She did. But I, 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 you know, I read a lot, Will, and golf and whatnot. 18 live golfers teed it up. Oh, really? Two made, two play, or finished inside the top 10. Um, go look it up if you want to see who it was. Um, Hey, this. Well, hold on. Was is this where uh, Billy Ho and Ian were beefing on a green? Was you somebody? Could, you was could somebody, say that. Hey, you was could somebody, say that. Hey, hey, I've been wanting to say. I've been wanting to say right, this go for so long. Was somebody set tripping? <laughs> and you know what? As dumb as that sounds, that's a very fair statement. Will was someone set tripping? Because now we got sides. <laughs> we got side. Okay. Who side are you? I don't want it to be like this in golf, dog. I swear. I. I know you don't. I, it grew, is up, I grew up in a I, similar environment. It's I, not. This is. It ain't. It, it is no. There's no. There's no positive ending here. It's just. But, it's not. To your point, did we see a leaked somebody? You know, recording Ian Poulter and Billy Horschel having a heated discussion. Yes, but I feel like Will. They should have let us dubbed the conversation. Like we should. Mm. Matter of fact, I might. How would have went? How would have went, Doug? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm Billy. No, I'm no, Billy. I... no, let's do it. I'm Billy Ho, and you Ian. Let's go. All right, who who walks up to who though? I didn't see that part of the I video. Think, man. I think I think Billy Ho walked up to Ian. Cause I think Ian had his putting station. He, All he right. was... So I think let me let me. This is how. It went. Who you will be? You who you will be? I, Ian. I'm Billy Ho. I'm Billy Ho. All right. All right. Go ahead. Go right. ahead. Do it. <laughs> All right, ready? Let me get in character. Hold on. Hold on. All right, we'll, we'll get in character. All right. Hey, Ian. What's up, mate? <laughs> so I heard, you know, that um, that you and 17 of your boys had something to say about uh, about being here this week at the BMW. Is that true? What's that, bud? I couldn't hear you over the, the rev of my Ferrari. What, what What'd you... <laughs> What'd you say? You know I've got a few cars. Uh, well, hold on. Let me move my uh, my 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 uh, all my wins out of the way so I can see your face. Let me let me move my trophies. So, <laughs> so so you and your little raggy the Ferrari. I mean, is there a problem that you know that that we gonna have this week for us being here on the same green, sharing the same fairways? I mean, is there a problem? Do I need to go talk to my PJ Tour homies or, I just, or what? I just want to wear the logos of the companies that I, I represent and own. Like I don't know why you got a problem with, you know, me rocking team gear. It's my team. Like what you, what did you did you say something about APGA and the money I be give? What'd you say? In scene. In but scene. look though, uh, <laughs> no. But in all honesty, look, and 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 some gangster PR. I will say that some very good smart PR. Ian and Billy have this this viral video that goes out. People are you know acting like they they. You know, we're having a beef. I don't know. It doesn't matter that they were, if they were or weren't. What happened was they actually did a joint post on Instagram where it was like, don't believe everything that you see in here. Now, I thought that was a fantastic move, regardless of what the actual conversation was. I I don't know what it was. I'm not, maybe we just ask Billy what, what, what I, was I, I think I think they're beefing because if you I think they were beefing. I think that, I'm not saying beefing, but I think that. Discussion got a bit heated because when you look at Ian Poulter extend his hand, like don't touch me though. If we don't, arguing, don't touch me. Right, like don't right. do right. not. Anytime, ah. anytime you see somebody extend their hands, like with the palms up, like hey, I'm, that's a warning. That's, that's a warning. Like don't. That's you, I'm, you, get, you violate my you violate my civil rights. Getting a little you, too you, you get a little too, too in there. You get too close. You get too close. But speaking of somebody who has just got not close at all to any player. Who I don't I can't think of the, you know his angle at all anything in life is Sergio Garcia. Oh, Sergio shit. Garcia played in the BMW, uh, the same tournament that we're speaking of, and he quit, withdrew after the first round, yeah. shooting the opening round of seventy six. Didn't notify the authorities that 
he was sure. withdrawing. So <laughs> chill through the deuces and got the hell on, which is super disrespectful. So which one's more? Which one more disrespectful? That he left randomly, or he, or where he went, or where he was, where he arrived. Either both moves are disrespectful, <laughs> and and let me tell you why. Because John Rahm's got a a close friend, uh, Alfredo Garcia, Eredia. Okay, now. What I find interesting is that was the first alternate in that event. Mm. Okay? So had Sergio withdrawn before his opening round, AHG would have got to play in that event. Now, Sergio being the <laughs> the article that I read called him all sorts of names. I will not yes. say what they say. You can't repeat those names. But but I do find that to be... Look, does does he does he have this is me being neutral? Will does he have his reasoning? Yes, I'm sure he does. But is it one of the most disrespectful things you can do to an event? Absolutely, unless you got COVID or like I did, that's different. But uh, but to tee it up in a tournament you haven't played, Will in 22 years. Last twice, time you were, well, he played played twice. He's played twice years. in 22 years. But I, I want to say this disrespectful. When you think, when you think about all the. Sergio Garcia antics over the years. Is he as hated? Hold on, let's talk about some of the antics. Hold on, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. When you think about some of the antics over the years, is he as hated as Patrick Reed? I mean, you go, you no, go back people, to people hate Sergio way more than Patrick Reed. But but you got to but you got to think about it. But you can't give Sergio a pass. You know, when you go back to you know his ill time, poorly word joke. The Tiger back in the day, you Ooh, know, you, serve, brought that, you brought that back up, huh? man. Serving serving the U.S. Open uh, dinner, he's gonna serve fried chicken to Tiger Woods. That was bogus. Fuzz, uh, Fuzzy Zeller said the same thing. Let's just make sure we say that. <clears throat> okay, well he reiterated, making him twenty that's, times. That's worse. what I'm saying. Okay, so then then you got spitting in the cup. He did spit in the cup. Throwing a club at his caddy over at uh, was it Royal Port Rush? Gave or the, whatever. Gave the fingers to crowds. Beth Page. So How do you flick it, off the crowd. Like, but my my thing is my thing is like, it, can he recover or does he no. care to recover? He doesn't care. He's 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 cashed. He's braided out. He's cashed. So I, he doesn't care. I think so they would call that in the hood. They would call that fu money. I, I, it's a, look, look, that's a variable statement though, right? Because because some people's value of fu money. Is different. up here, and Sergio's at the end of the day, compared to some of the people that we know, not trying to flex, he doesn't have as much. He don't have f y'all money. Mm. F you money and f y'all money, and Sergio might have the f you. But, but here's the thing, Will. Hit me. After just defecating on his reputation, dang, and, what? <laughs> great. I, Thank you. Weird word, but Thank okay. You. It's not weird. <laughs> it's actually perfectly fit. Uh. Guy flies five thousand miles, goes to the Texas Alabama game. What's his relation to that? I'm still his lost. Wife went to Texas. Aha, the plot thickens. Aha. Okay, so, baby girl, we're gonna leave London town because the Queen died. It's crazy over here. Let's get the hell on. They got you know we got King now. Let's go ahead and go to this game at back back in Texas. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. they played in Texas. Mm -hmm. It's a good game though. It's a very good game to see. I. Like I've said about Phil Mickelson, just sit down and go away, Sergio Garcia. Like, stop. why make waves? Why even make waves? You got your bread. You got the girl, baby, masters. You defect to live. Just, 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 aren't you happy? Why aren't you happy? I don't know. But I tell you this, though, he won't pull none of that stuff on live on Liv's dime. I bet you, I bet you ain't quitting. Oh yeah, not, he, a, not with that it, contract. They probably got one of them like cut your hand off contracts. Yeah, we ain't getting to that, Doug. I ain't, I ain't going there. But where did, where did? I, but it, it's a great segue because you talking about the, the Alabama game. Who was, who else was at that Alabama? Was it Texas game? Who else was yeah. there? Uh, there was probably a hundred thousand more people. Well, that's very, very. Wasn't there another Cole, golfer there? Cole Hammer was there. Wasn't Pearson, there another golfer there? Pearson Cootie was there as well. Uh, but Scotty Scheffler was there. Ah. And, there you go. You fell into it. That's what I was waiting on. And, and Will, let's talk about this because I think it was a good move. So here's the story. Scotty Scheffler receives his Player of the Year trophy from the PGA Tour on college game day. Mm. 
that's an interesting place for a trophy presentation. And I really appreciated the strategy from the golf bodies at ESPN, uh, our family over at ESPN, and bringing golf. I know they do that consistently, right? It's not like a concerted thing. Scotty went to Texas. Let's bring him here. He got. Mm -hmm. I get it. But it's dope because a lot of viewers got to see that a Texas grad and Scotty Scheffler, who they may have never heard of, absolutely probably don't care about. They got to see this the, the Hogan Trophy for the Player of the Year, this 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 massive bronze statue. And I think uh, you know that's some types of things that grow the game. So I appreciated that. I thought it was a dope move. Hell yeah, it's a dope move. I mean, you know, having that having that crossover uh, uh, from from you know football to golf. Now I. I that's a start. That's a start to, you know, coming up with some great ideas. I don't think that's it because I'm sure the kid that was hammering in the background didn't really give a damn about, uh, you know, Scotty 25 starts and 18 top 25s. But, but he will say, I didn't know golf can make it to, to, to game day, which was, which is pretty solid. If you can remember that. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy for that. I think it'd been nice. If it was at the 50 yard line, maybe perhaps. But either way, you know, it was, it was a good move. And you can't get mad at anything when it comes to trying to come up with creative strategy to grow the game and bring the game to more people. Well, that's 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 what it's about, Will. And bringing the game to more people, that's what we do here at Beyond the Fairway presented by Genesis. It's Will Lowry's birthday. And I'm going to tell you something right now, just for the folks out there listening to this episode. You've been with us for just over 35, 36 minutes. It's 722 my time here uh, on the East Coast, West Coast. And if Will wasn't my guy, I would not have got my ass up this morning, this early to hop on the ones and twos with him. Uh, Will, happy birthday, man. Uh, all the blessings and love and, and well wishes you can give an uh, mf -er. uh They're going to bleep that. So uh, I love you, dog. I appreciate you taking me on this ride. Happy birthday to you and yours. And man, I'm up out of here. I got nothing left, so you can bring this home, birthday boy. Well, yeah, it's my birthday, man. I'm about to go ahead and uh, leave you and co and continue this great work that I just fell in love with and growing the game. Got some projects that I'm doing today, and it's just about to we're about to make it happen. Hey, you know so funny going back to Tim Tim O'Neill. <laughs> hey, Tim O'Neill. This is how Will. This is how Will wraps the show. Hey, this, this is how Will wraps the show. It's so funny. Tim O'Neill, obviously. Champions Tour last week. He turned 50 years old. Tim O'Neill Tim O'Neill looked like he was 38 years old for thir for 14, 15, 16 years. But the day that he played in Champions Tour event, they took a picture. He looked 50. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, you look 50 right now. You look like you was 38 yesterday. <laughs> you look like you was 38 when you was 22. But now that you are 50. You look. You don't look thirty eight no more. So uh, I, yeah. I need another picture because I. That cause man he, lost all his college. No, I. Because I, I just knew he was Ponce de Leon. I just knew he found the fountain of youth because he <laughs> just always looked young. But uh, that is a wrap here on Beyond the Fairway presented by Genesis. Uh, it is my birthday, Doug. Appreciate you waking up early for being here with me, and um, do what we do, man. You know, two days, two uh, episodes in a row without a guest. You know. We got some guests knocking on the door, but we tell them to hold off just a yeah, second. Yeah, we got, we got things to say in yeah. this season. This yeah, because some, sometimes the guests will be taking on a little shine sometimes, you know? So, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, this is a very long winded rap, Will. Oh, Happy sorry. birthday. Stop talking. Get out of here. Give me uh, love. Stop it. Peace.